So I've seen a lot of people ask how I'm getting a lot of gems in FC Mobile. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and explain that. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. Right now, as you can see, I've got 40,000 gems, but I did spend a lot of gems in the store very, very recently with a lot of packs. I did open a lot of packs and I've still got 40,000 gems. And a lot of people are not actually getting that many gems. But as I said, I'm, I'm going to go and explain how I'm getting all, just, all, all these gems in FC Mobile. First of all, if you go into the quest section right there, you will see we've got in daily quests, we've got these 40 gems. You can go ahead and watch a net to get 40 gems every single day. And when you go ahead and complete these uh, daily points, uh, when, you, when you go ahead and get these daily points and complete daily quests, then you will be able to get these daily rewards. And from these daily rewards, every single day, you're going to get 360 gems right there, as you can see. For 40 points, you're going to get 60 gems. For uh, 60 points, you're going to get 100. And for 100 points, you're going to get 200 gems. So that's a lot of gems already. That's already 400 gems with daily rewards plus watching this ad right there but also if you go ahead and uh, complete all the weekly quests as well which are very very easily doable by the way you can go and get 200 extra gems plus you're gonna get a lot of star, uh, star pass credits of course these star pass credits are very very important because when you go ahead and go into the star pass uh, you're gonna be able to get a lot more gems with those star pass points with those star pass points you're gonna level up faster in star pass right there and you're gonna get gems for example i got this 300 gems recently 100 300 even more before that 100 again 100 and when you go ahead and level up you're gonna get more and more gems that way as well if you go and buy the star pass you're obviously gonna get more gems as well but even for free you're gonna be able to get quite quite a good amount of star uh, gems right there also not only that but if you go into icon journey right there if you haven't uh, if you are not playing icon journeys i would definitely suggest you to go and do it in the elite chapter we obviously got uh, 1500 gems right there as well as 1500 there in the master chapter we've got uh, 1500 there then 2500 and here we've got another two, uh, 2500 and in legendary chapter we've got uh, 4000 gems two, uh, 2 2.5k gems and at the end we've got 4000 gems once again right there so that's where i uh, grind that's where i got a lot of gems recently i just got 10,000 gems from this section alone but uh with icon journeys as well we've got uh we've also got some more quests that you can go ahead and complete to get even more gems if you go into the rival section for example we can get 50 gems every single day um from here and we can get 50 gems from there you just need to go and open a pack for this one and complete six tackles in any mode for this one and you're gonna get 100 gems every single day with that one as well and as well as with right uh, with weekly rival quests you can get 300 gems right there when you go and score 50 goals in any mode. That's uh, another very, very easy way to get gems right there. If you, if, uh, you don't, if you don't have Ravel's event right now when you're watching this video, we are still going to have some kind of event and we are going to be able to get gems from that event either way. So that's still very, very decent. Also, in Ravel Quest, if you haven't completed this, complete 100 tackles and complete 80 assists, then you're going to get 400 extra uh, gems that way as well when you go ahead and complete them. Also, um, in the UCL section, this one, we don't have anything. But if you go down there uh, in the daily one, we're going to be in the weekly one. Sorry, we're going to be able to get 300 gems very, very easily as well with scoring 50 goals um, in any mode in, in during UCL program and daily quest once again as well. Same type of uh, challenges or quests that we've got uh, with the rival, rival event. You're going to be able to get 100 gems there, 50 here and 50 here. And also, if you go down, uh, when you go on and win the league tournament, if, if you are in leagues, I personally am not in the league. I should probably create a league or join a league at some point. I haven't, I still haven't joined any league, by the way. I haven't made my own or I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything with that. But if you are in the league, you're probably going to get a lot more gems by winning those tournaments as well. And you can go ahead and see what there are. You can go and get a lot more gems in Road to Glory section right there. 2500 2000 you can go ahead and read all of them to know what you need to do to go ahead and do that and also um in going strong section right there you're gonna be able to get a lot more gems when you uh, level up into the game and you when you go ahead and get higher overall team when you train more players and all that at the end you're gonna get 10,000 gems but throughout the peri period you're gonna get a lot of gems as well that way also if you want to get a little bit more free gems as well you can go into this gem section right there and every single day you can watch one ad to get 100 extra gems 
uh, right there you can go and it was just one ad and you're gonna get 100 extra and obviously uh, there, are co uh, there are offers that you can go on and complete in my region this game is not very very popular so I don't have that many great offers right there as you can see uh, I've got like 20 30 40 gem offers but in your region if you are uh, in a big country like USA, Britain, India, where, pop where this game is very, very popular, you're gonna be able to, uh, you you're gonna get a lot of um, offers that might give you like 5,000 gems and all that. So you should definitely check that one out as well. So you should definitely check that one out as well. That's gonna give you a lot of offers if you complete some of the, uh, some of the quests uh, from that offer section right there. That's pretty much how I get all my gems. There is no other trick to it. I'm not doing anything else. That's the only way I get gems, right? That's the only way I get gems. Now, let's go ahead and open some of the exchange packs. I do want to open this 8287 overall. Um, I, oh, I don't have strikers. Of course, I don't have strikers. I never have strikers. Uh, low overall strikers, that is. Let me go ahead and uh, buy uh, 472 overall, 71 overall attackers, whatever. We're just gonna buy any of them and open that 8287 overall player pack. That pack you should open every single day, by the way. That refreshes because uh, uh, that one gives you uh, red rival tokens as well, and you'll be able to get Maldini um, throughout the rivals event. Right, we're gonna get a couple of these cards right there, and hopefully, we're gonna be able to complete that exchange. And hopefully, we're gonna be able to complete that exchange after that as well. We're gonna get Simeone there. Is that um, Simeone's son? I know one of the Simeone's son plays for uh, plays for uh, Napoli, but I don't know if that guy if that guy is Simeone's son as well. Right? Are we gonna get that Simeone? We are. So we got four players, which means we can now go ahead and complete this exchange as well, and hopefully get an 87 overall. I'll take a high overall card. No, unfortunately, we just got an 83 overall. Puado right there. Can I do any other ones? Um, I can't do this 88 to 91 actually. I don't have players though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in the later video because I don't have players right now. I don't have players for this one either. So I guess I can't do any of them. Um, I can do this one. I'm I'm gonna do this one. 100. I'm gonna do this one. I like this exchange. I need oh I need 10. I'm just gonna put any 83s right there as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do that exchange. I'm definitely doing that exchange. Hopefully we're gonna get a great team of the week. Or oh, is it just 87 overall? Trent as the highest overall card. I'm not doing it then. I'm not doing I'm sorry, but trained 87 overall card is the highest overall team of the week. No, thank you. Also, with the next Mystery Signing rewards, we're obviously going to be able to get not only the 88 overall Bremer or 89 overall um, Michael Loudrup, but we're also going to be able to get one of these milestone rewards right there. 91 overall Mascherano and 90 overall tradable card, 91 overall untradable card with two Dudex and 100,000 coins. In 92 overall untradeable with 81 overall due deck with one of these icons that we're gonna that we're gonna get from that pack so it's gonna be very very exciting let me know which one you're choosing but that's gonna be the end of the video for today make sure to like and subscribe and peace